To dis discuss more on China's space program and its missions, I'm joined now by Amitabh Ghosh. He's a space scientist working on NASA Mars missions since 1997. Thanks very much for your time. Now, if you could just give us an update on the current space station missions that China is undergoing at the moment. Well, um, if you know, if you are, have been following the news, um, it's been very big news that the Tiangong 3 space station uh, with the central module, which is the Tianhe module, and um, the two Wengtian and Mengtian, Mengtian with the experiments, um, two additional modules have been launched, have been successfully launched in very quick succession. So the main module went up in 2021, and then these other two, Wengtian and Mengtian, went in 2022, and they're all functional. The crews have been swapping. Uh, the, the last time, the crews actually spent some time together before swapping out. So the, it's right now permanently um, staffed. Uh, and then there is one more module, which is the space telescope, which is coming up in 2024. And uh, to remind you, this is the Tiangong 3. There were two space stations before that, the Tiangong 1 and Tiangong 2. So I think there is this, China is really the learning to live in space. I mean, that is what the whole goal is. Um, so it's very exciting overall. And does this include the latest, uh, you know, Moon and Mars missions too? What can you tell us, tell us about that? Well, there also the journey has been very significant. So um, uh, the first um, Changi, Changa mission, uh, probably in 2007, one and two, they just orbited the moon. The third Ch Changa mission, they actually soft landed on the moon. The fourth landed on the dark side of the moon, which is very difficult. Um, um, and the fifth, um, they got samples back from the moon. They also did something which is exceptional, is the lunar night is kind of 27 Earth days. So so the latest Changa, they, they survived the lunar night, which is a very big experience. And then, of course, going forward, I think there is plan for Changa 6 and 7 um, they'll bring more samples back from the moon. So they already have brought samples back to the moon, but I think the plan is to bring more. And from what I and understand, the research and development is currently underway to, to launch things like the Chang'e 6 and 7. Can you tell us a bit about what goes in to that research and development to make sure it's a safe uh, export? Right. So, um, so if you think about it, so they've already gotten samples back. They probably want to get more samples back. And the, the Changa 7, I think, is to do with in situ resource utilization. And why that is important is that if you want to send humans to the, to, to the moon or to Mars, there has to be a way to survive off of local resources. You know, kind of what Perseverance, NASA's Perseverance rover is doing on Mars. They're trying to manufacture oxygen. So, so here, Changa 7 will try to do something similar, I'm guessing, in terms of, in terms of living off the land like extract water or any raw materials that will be relevant to a human mission. How far would you say China's program has come since the first launch in 1970? It's a huge journey. It's been a huge journey. If you think about 1970, I think uh, China started with, um, they had to first develop their launch vehicles. And then um, there was, I think, some cooperation with Russia and in two, see, like in uh, 2011, I think the joint mission to um, Mars did not happen because the Russians perhaps could not come through with their end of the um, collaboration. And so China has done it alone. And it's, it's, I think it's a significant um, breadth uh, from, from the um, space station to the moon, lunar program, um, then uh, to the Mars program, there is plans for an asteroid um, sample return mission, then there is the um, um, plans. I, I think there's a plan to go to Ma do a manned mission to Mars in 2033. I think it's been a huge journey. All right. Amitabh Ghosh, thank you very much for your time. Space scientist working on NASA Mars missions since 1997. Thank you.